Now that the best camo grinding method has been figured out here in a post exfil world, I want to try to figure out the best weapon leveling method, and it might involve another exfil. So we're going to be hopping into game here with a level one WSP, and we'll see how many levels we can get. So the main thing going around with a weapon XP in this mode is that after 800 to 1000 kills, your weapon XP gets limited severely. So that means after 800 to 1000 kills in a game, your weapon XP is basically useless. You might as well back out and do another one. But what we found out is that if you complete all the act one missions and you get all the way to the end where you have to do the dr jensen like retrieval mission this thing spawns on your map right here this is a special extraction that will bring you to the dr jensen mission and technically when you go there it counts as a separate game because whenever i've gone into here and i've grinded camos at the end of the game like when i fully complete the dr jensen thing it only shows me the camos that i unlocked during the dr jensen mission so i have a theory that going into this x fill completely resets your weapon level cap and you can go back to gaining xp faster so i want to try that out and something that's going to help us out here is deadbolt turret circuits so i'm gonna be trying to find as many of those as i can before we get there and also i brought a bunch of stuff in here with me to help make this process a little bit faster so let me use all these and just to make sure we're getting the most bang for our buck i'm going to use some double weapon xp please don't kill me zombies but i'm pretty sure the best way to get these deadbolt circuits is from doing these little infestation nests or infested strongholds i'm pretty sure both of them work pretty well for finding these circuits but i'm gonna be doing a lot of these until i got like four five maybe even six of the deadbolt turret circuits and then once we feel like we have enough i'm probably gonna do some like outlast contracts or maybe some spore contracts just so i can get up to my 800 like a thousand kills and max out all my weapon xp for this game and we already got a level. But I think we got unlucky with our loot here because I'm not seeing any deadbolt circus. Maybe we can find someone in the stronghold. But I feel like these haven't been mentioned very much in any camo grinding methods, but the strongholds actually spawn in a decent amount of zombies and you can get some good loot doing it. They don't take too long to get them knocked out either. Especially if you got death perception to be able to see where all these cysts are at. Oh, and there's level three. Already up two levels this game. All just while we've been trying to find some deadbolt turret circuits. But we've cleared out the stronghold. And there's a circuit right there. Beautiful. Just what we're looking for. Oh, and a riot shield. We can just throw that on our back. The only mode where it's acceptable to turtle. And another circuit. Let's go. Dang, this area is like full of infestations. It's gonna be our third one we take out. Two strongholds, one nest. Let's hope it's got more circuits in it. Is this it? There we go cleared it and there's some more circuits let's go this is actually getting us a lot of stuff pretty quick yeah we're basically full on them now maybe like one or two more and we'll be good all right let's do one more stronghold and hopefully that'll be good oh the aether nest respawned Can we just go back and forth doing these same ones actually i think this might be a different aether nest but still all in the same area is kind of crazy and we already cleared out the nest but not looking like any circuits in this one unfortunately all right we've depleted this area let's keep heading on to some other ones let's do a nice little tier two infested stronghold this one's one of the more tough strongholds to take out because it's got like this single file staircase over here that makes it really difficult to survive in we just gotta go all the way to the top oh the roof is boarded up though it's our last stand thank god for decoys and we already cleared this one out a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Any more circuits for me? Oh, and there's another one. I'll take that over a cashmere. Why not? So now we have five deadbolt circuits. Oh, I'll make that six. All right, I think we're good on our circuits. We got a decent amount. More than this is kind of overkill. I guess it depends on how long you want to stay in that next area. But now we got to milk this first area, our first game, for as many kills as we can get. What is hitting me? Am I getting sniped? Are there invisible zombies here? I'm out. Stop damaging me. I don't even know where you are. Let's even find an Outlast contract. I literally don't see any anywhere. There's some in like tier one, but that might be a little too slow for us. I guess we can do it anyways. Why not? Right, let me get that contract. Stay back, Hellhound. Sit. Let's start it up and get to grinding. So I've seen a lot of back and forth about this specific method and how you can just let it go down to zero on everything and you'll still get spawns. But I still think there's a happy medium in between like letting it go down to zero and leaving the area and coming back in to get more spawns because from what i found the closer you are to this the more spawns you get so i like to get the progression up a bit step out of the area let it go back down and then come right back and that's the best way to maximize spawns oh and there's our first camo 250 kills with this it looks like all the zombies are spawning right over here so we might just be able to chill in this area and we've already leveled up like three times just in this one mission i feel like the spawns are starting to slow down a little bit we're not getting that many zombies it's still a consistent amount but now we're getting like less than 10 spawning at a time so i'm gonna get our percentage back up real quick we'll chill in here for a second 
option, but the team should focus on the swarm of enemies coming their way. And now that we hit like near 70% is usually where I get that little voice clip we just got from Rabinov in Barrera, I think is his name. Saying that a swarm of enemies is heading our way. So hopefully that means more spawns. And it's looking like it does. Yeah, this is way more than we were getting a second ago. Okay, so I'm definitely confirming for myself that the higher percentage you have on this done, the more spawns you get. There's level 12. And for what everyone has said, 12 is like the theoretical limit. Like, I'm sure you can get a little bit more than 12 in a game. But the average is around 12. And it seems like any level after 12 is a little bit more difficult to get. So I guess we'll see. And I'm still... Oh, wait. There's level 13. As soon as I'm about to go into a tangent. But I'm still unsure whether or not, like, if you get kills with, like, a, a kill streak or, you know, a deadbolt turret or, you know, whatever. If the kills aren't coming from your weapon, is your weapon XP still limited per the amount of kills that you get? Or is it just, if I kill a zombie with this weapon, I'm getting less XP for it. But I could get more XP for still doing contracts and, you know, getting kills with fuel upgrades and turrets and things like that. I wonder if there's any difference. And it's looking like after level 13, my XP has dropped off like crazy. It's been a few minutes and I haven't seen a single level pop up despite getting maybe like a few hundred kills in between. Oh wait, there's another level. Just took so many kills in between. All right, I think we've gotten an insane amount of kills here. I got a lot of money as well. So I'm just gonna try to end this. We're gonna go grab Pack-A-Punch 3 and then move on to the next step of the leveling method. There we go. That's the event right there. Barrera just fucking squirted too. And we got another self-revive and speed coal, but I don't think we can take either of these. We got too many deadbolt circuits. Let's make our way to pack a punch three, make our way to our X fill and make our way to some levels. Okay, let's throw a quick decoy so these zombies can get off my ass. Let's pack a punch and let's get out of here. But now we can exfil to the Dr. Jensen mission. Now there's only 49 seconds left in this game. We hop in this, we take off, completely resets it. So now it's making the sound like we successfully extracted, but it's still searching for another match. It's jumping us right into another game, which will be all by ourselves. Hopefully won't be able to crash since we're the only person on that server and we can just do whatever we want in there. Well, after we do a few objectives and now we're right back to the Orlov military base, except we cannot leave this area, which is fine. We get a little XP just by coming in here from this airstrike free level right off the bat. And now we have 45 minutes to do whatever we want in this area. Time is completely reset. And since we heard that successful exfil sound on our way out, that means hopefully that our weapon XP cap has also reset since it thinks we're in another game. But yeah, we still have all the same stuff from the last one. You can also just loot around this whole area if you want it to. Sometimes you can find some more deadbolt circuits, but we don't really need to loot for this one. We just need to make our way through here. And you can like take your time and go through these areas if you really want to and like shoot every single zombie, every single mercenary. But all you really got to do is just rush to the objective. There are some areas that spawn in a decent amount of zombies, but the best part is really just right at the end of this mission. Let's access the, the communications tower. Easy. And now we just need to get to Dr. Jensen. And I usually just throw a few nades at these guys because they have knocked me more than a few times. That's another level, by the way. Oh, and another deadbolt circuit. So you know where to come find one once we use a few. Let's start deleting your shit, Dr. Jensen. You just got a defender for a second. Get a few zombies here and a few mercenaries. No big deal. Need a little mortar strike, why don't you? Now she's all done deleting her shit, but she's walking right into my mortar strike. So hopefully I don't kill her. I'm pretty sure she's invincible, so I don't really have to worry about it, but I don't want to die over there. I'll get a quick level though while we're waiting. But now all we got to do is get her up to the helipad. This is the spot where the levels are made. Where are you? Get up here. Just go up the stairs. Why are you going in there? You don't need to go in there. And there's another turret circuit right here. There's so many. Maybe you went a little overkill bringing them in here. Now he's going to chill up here till the helicopter gets here. Now that it's here, she's going to run in there, have a seat, and we don't have to leave for the next 36 minutes. We can stay in this game as long as we want and we'll get constant spawns up here, unlimited spawns. Let me throw a quick decoy just to get these zombies off my ass. We hop over here. We'll throw in our circuits, have them take it out. And we just gotta sit here while it racks up XP for us. We don't really have to do a whole lot. There's level 18 already. And since we put so many circuits in there, this turret's gonna go for a minute. You really don't have to do a whole lot. I would still like move around, you know, shoot a few zombies every once in a while so you don't get kicked for inactivity. But oh, this is just free XP. There's level 19. That was less than a minute. Obviously, you don't need this deadbolt turret. You can just come here and grind out all these kills with your weapon if you want. 
but I think you'll get the XP a little bit faster with the turret because it can take out all the zombies that you're not really focused on. And this way you're just constantly getting XP. This turrets don't got to reload. It's don't got to do nothing, but just shoot zombies. And it basically auto locks to all of them. Another level. I think this has a max level of like 28. So I'm going to try to get all the way up to there. At least see how far it can take us. Our turret's still going strong and it's been like what six minutes and we still have three more circuits here and two more that we saw on the ground and there's another level there's level 23 oh i think our turret finally ran out of juice so let's go find those other circuits from earlier is this another one right here no way they just have so many laying around okay i think we grabbed all the ones that we saw now our inventory's back being full of them and that turret lasted for 10 minutes with four of those circuits so if we load another four of them in there probably gonna last me another 10 minutes and if they nerf the actual x bill for like stability reasons like it was crashing servers there being like way too many zombies out there there should be no reason to nerf this i'm literally the only one in this map the only one in this game so i'm not hurting anybody else's game i'm not using any exploits all i'm doing is using the shit that they put in the game and if this is the best way to grind levels and camos i hope they keep it in Literally no reason to get rid of it. But I'm starting to think that maybe we hit the weapon XP limit for this game. Because we got to be over like 2,000 kills at this point. I haven't seen a level pop up in a little bit. But I'm going to try to push the limits of this game. I'm going to go to the very last minute just to see how many levels we get. Or is our double weapon? Or our double weapon XP turned off. Let's turn some more on. Maybe this will help out. But it does look like regardless of how you get the kills, whether if it's with, with your weapon or with this turret or whatever, your XP does get limited after you hit that threshold. Oh, there's another level though. Let's see if we can get four more in this game. Uh-oh. I think our turret just got disabled. I was just literally sitting there doom scrolling. Pop these bad boys in it. And once those run out, I'll try to get as many kills as I can with this gun. And then we'll see where we're at. Oh, there's level 25. We're still getting levels. Just maybe one every five minutes. And now we've run out of deadbolt turret circuits. So I'm just going to try to kill these zombies for the next 14 minutes. And we'll see if we get any more levels. Oh, we got another camo. Those are point blank kills. Crazy they got point blank kills in zombies. Oh, there's another level. So I don't think we'll get quite up to max level, but we're just knocking on the door. And those extra two levels should come very, very easily when we hop into our next game. The XP limit's just cucking us right now. We've reached our last minute. I'm gonna get a few more kills here. I'll use my last frenzy guard. And then once this frenzy guard runs out, I'm getting on a helicopter and we're leaving. All right, it's out. Let's go. Sorry for the wait, Dr. Jensen. He's literally been sitting here for the last half hour, but now we can leave. So that counts as another successful x fill. Technically, we did two that game. We made it out with 49,000 points, which gets you little to no XP, which is crazy. We only completed one contract. We got 4,000 zombie kills. That's 80,000 XP. That's insane, which should be max level on any weapon. But with that limit, we're not getting it. Oh, the max level was 27 and we made it up to level 26 and a quarter. What about our camo progress? So we got our 250 kills, 250 point blanks. We need five mimic kills and 250 kills in a medium or high threat zone. All right, well, I guess we'll just hop in, get our last level and get this gold real quick just for fun but that method does work pretty well we made it up pretty high in levels and let's go try to find some mimics i'm pretty sure they spawn in infested strongholds and just like around the map because i know we can get hellhounds real easy doing the outlast contract i know we can get manglers really easy doing the escort contract disciples are really easy in a tier two outlast contract what spawns in mimics any mimics chilling in here there's a mimic just the guy i'm looking for I just need four more of your friends. And there's our last level. Oh, there's another mimic. Why are you running away? Why are you running? Go ahead and sit down. Thank you. Oh, another mimic. Just the guy I'm looking for. There you go. Two more and we're good. Oh, there's one. See you later. One more stronghold should do it, assuming there's a mimic in there. Oh, yeah, there's a mimic right here. We didn't have to go in. That should be our mimic camo. There we go. Look how small the camo was. Did you see that? Probably not. It was like one pixel. We still need to get our 250 kills in a tier two or three zone. So we might as well just clear this out just for funsies. Easy clear. Still not enough kills for the camo though. All right, this should get us over the hump of the 250 kills. Oh, there it is. We got it. 
We should be good to exfil now. Come on, show me gold. Let's go. And in case you're curious, this is what our WSP swarm looks like in game with Golden Enigma. Not that bad. But there you have it. That's my method for getting weapons leveled up. It only took around an hour and a half to get the weapon all the way up to level 26. And then just one more half hour game to get that one level, which we got within like two minutes of starting the game. And then to get the rest of our camos and get gold. So about two hours total to fully level up a weapon and get the camos with it. I'm sure there's some ways to make it more efficient, but this is like my first time actually going in and trying this method, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Again, thank you guys so much for all your support. We just reached 194,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So thank you guys for coming by, watching all the content, showing me all the love, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.